views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Get ready to experience the truth. Welcome to Truth Talk Radio with your host, Deb Acker. Truth Talk Radio is the hit show that will illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. Unleash your intuitive nature while Deb helps you stop looking outside yourself for value and happiness, break through patterns, and move into your authentic truth at lightning speed. Truth Talk Radio will leave you feeling lighter, help you live with more presence, passion, and clarity, and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Now, here's your host, Deb Acker. Hello, everyone. I'm Deb Acker, and you are listening to Truth Talk on Transformation Talk Radio. Stay with me for the next hour as I help you experience the truth, nothing but the truth. Each week on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, I'll have some of the most gifted, inspiring, unique souls, speakers, and authors helping to move you into more light, love, and, of course, truth. And an important announcement for Truth Talk. Starting in October, which is next week, we are going to be moving to just the first and third Wednesdays of each month. So definitely make sure you tune in accordingly. And before before we get started today, I'd like to start out today's show with an intention. And my intention for today's show is that everyone that needs to hear this conversation hears it and that you leave feeling expansive, inspired, lit up, and open to receiving whatever energy wants to come through. And with that, I'd like to introduce today's guest, Caitlin Edgar. Caitlin is a Kundalini yoga teacher and the founder of the Intuitive Coaching School and the Angels of Intuition Sisterhood Mastermind and Intuitive Coaching Certification Program. She's an intuitive coach and mentor, helping heart-centered women, coaches, and healers to break free from fears and self-sabotage, activate their intuitive gifts, and fully serve their soul's highest purpose. A handful of years ago, Caitlin began intentionally manifesting her current life. She worked extensively with many teachers to learn about intuition, yoga, meditation, manifestation, energy medicine and healing, quantum physics, Reiki, psychology, and the power of programming the subconscious mind for success. And now Caitlin has not only created a very successful business, but also has a lifestyle she absolutely loves with the time and freedom she's always desired. And today, Caitlin takes great pleasure in passing her wisdom and knowledge onto others who also want to become powerful and con- confident intuitives, guides, and coaches. And so with that, I'd like to welcome Caitlin to the show. Welcome. How are you? Hi, Deb. Thank you so much for that. And I loved your intention so much. That was so almost like word for word what I was feeling into for the intention for coming on the show today. So that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. I love, um, I love when we're in sync. <laughs> Me too. Um, and I'm so excited for today's conversation. I think we're going to just have this amazing conversation with just really beautiful, I love the word yummy, yummy energy. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I want to ask you, like, you know, obviously you mentioned, you know, you, you, you began intentionally manifesting your current life. But tell us about what that journey looks like. How did you get into this work? What, what did that all look like? Hmm. I love this question. It's always so much fun coming through with the story and it changes every time, you know, just a little bit as, as more like pieces of clarity and understanding about my path falls, falls into place. Um, yeah, so I would say about, about four years ago, I was working at a, I was working at a restaurant. I was managing it. It was, it was really great. Like I was working with my best friends and things were pretty good. Like it was a, it was a nice job. I I enjoyed myself, but I could feel like something big was really wanting to come through me. There was a big calling. And, um, as I continued to open up to that pieces of my life started to fall away and I started going through these big initiations really where I was, I was really guided to go deep inside of myself and reassess who I am, who I was showing up in the world as, and, and yeah, what my purpose is here. And so as I, as I started to discover what it is that I'm here to do, which is ultimately to help others and myself to deeply connect with the divine and, and really develop my own and, and to facilitate space for others to connect deeply into their own relationship to God in their own unique way that is authentic and true for them. 
as I started to really anchor into that and, and see that this is what I'm here to do, people started being placed on my path and opportunities and support and all these things started to come together. And so it was kind of like one layer of like fears and illusions and um, misaligned beliefs were dropping away. And as that happened, I started to discover this, this radiance within myself and this passion that I had to help other people to transform their lives. And ultimately, really raise the frequency of the planet and, and anchor in this heart-centered consciousness that is wanting to come through on the planet right now. So that, that's a nutshell for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's be- beautiful. Well, and I want to ask you, because you mentioned, um, you know, pieces falling away. And just for, you know, listeners that might be newer to personal growth work, what, is, what does that mean to you? Mm, yeah, so all of the programming subconscious programming and conditioning that's happened from experiences that we had when we were kids that caused fear within us and really imprinted our our subconscious mind in a particular way or programming from society or the media these basically it's it's the the old way of thinking and and living and being in the world that causes us to feel fearful and lackful and closed up Um, those pieces are not truth in my opinion, in my experience. And so those are the layers that need to fall away so that we can really step into this really beautiful, abundant and fulfilling life that I know each and every one of us desires to live so deeply. Yeah, it's really all about, you know, it's like you, as I always say, like as the pieces, as what's not you or your inherited truths fall away, all of a sudden the only thing that's left is you. Yes. The only thing yes. <laughs> that can be left is you. Um, and I want to get to purpose because obviously this is a really beautiful transition to that. But first, I actually want to ask you um, around intuition, right? Because you have this intuitive school mm-hmm. and obviously you're intuitive. Did you always know that you were intuitive? You know, not really. Like I, I know now that I always have been, but I, I didn't even really know what that word meant for a long time. And to be totally transparent with you, I spent most of my life trying to like numb down myself and my gifts because they were so powerful and I didn't know how to navigate in the world with my level of sensitivity and intuitiveness. Um, Intuitiveness. I don't think I've ever said that word. I'm not sure if that's actually a real word. My I think intuition. I've used it. <laughs> Too funny. But yeah, with with that level of intuition that I that I have. So you know, like I was I was a pretty severe overeater. I was addicted to drugs. I was on antidepressants for ten years. I spent a good chunk of my life trying to um, calm down my sensitivity and really like be able to manage it. Um, and so, yeah, I, I have always been intuitive, but I didn't always know it. And it's not until, um, you know, within the last less than 10 years, like between five and 10 years that I started to really awaken and feel that I had the support in place to be able to let go of those things that helped me to, um, like helped me with that level of sensitivity and the overwhelm that came with it so that I could, step into those gifts, feeling safe, feeling comfortable in my body, um, and really, yeah, really hone in on them and and let myself use them in the way that they were meant to be used. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Well, and do you, you believe that everybody's intuitive? Absolutely. Yes. I believe that so deeply. I, I know it to be true. Um, so tell me, tell me more about that. Um, and when you're thinking, you know, when you're te- you obviously have a school for, you know, for intuition, somebody that comes in that maybe is like, I'm not intuitive. <laughs> I don't have those gifts. What, you know, what is, uh, that, you know, just sort of a summation. What does that process look like? Yeah, well, that's a really good question. So because a lot of people don't believe that they're intuitive. I think the people that are drawn to my intuitive coaching school, they they do know that they have these gifts within them already and that's yeah. part of why they're drawn, but um but even then still like there's there can be a lot of doubt. And so the first thing that I do with the people in my school is to start taking them through the process of clearing away all that BS that's saying that they don't have these gifts, that they, that they can't access these levels of, of knowing and truth and really access those higher spiritual realms 
to really clear that away so that they can anchor into the truth that they do have these gifts that they are inside of them, that they're always, always connected to that divine knowing. And so then it's really a matter of, of practicing and affirming and yeah, practice. It's a really, it's a practical thing. Like it's a muscle. The more that we practice and the more that we use it, the more that it's developed and we experience the gifts and so they can grow and grow and grow. So number one though is always like clearing away. Like once we clear away those beliefs, it's like that channel really opens up. And then it's a matter of practice, like asking the questions, listening for the answers, making the space to hear and then following through with the guidance that comes. Yeah, that's no, that's beautiful. I always say too, it's like, you know, what you're talking about, right? Clearing away those lower level energies, emotions, Mm -hmm. fear, anger, guilt, control, shame, like all of those lower levels. As you do that and you move up into the higher, you know, emotions, energies, love, peace, joy, gratitude, as you move up into those, that's, I always say like, that's sort of where our intuitive voice exists. But because we hang out in kind of those heavier spaces, just as being humans and going through everyday life, especially, you know, kind of before we get, you know, start to work on ourselves we can block ourselves from hearing the intuition that's always coming in but yet we're not tuned into so um yeah no that's super super beautiful so um we're going to take a quick break you are listening to truth talk i am your host deb acker when we return we're going to explore more with caitlin so stay tuned we will be right back Have you felt a lot of fear and self-doubt in your life where you feel like you never know what's right for you? As a result, maybe you've made yourself invisible or haven't fully put yourself out there. Hi, my name is Deb Acker. In addition to being the host of Truth Talk Radio, I'm an intuitive life coach and energy healer. I clear energy blocks to all areas of life, including stepping into your power to be confident and visible in your relationships and the world. Did you know fear, self-doubt, feeling invisible, and not feeling comfortable to put yourself out there are all linked to not being in your power? What if you could always feel powerful and on purpose at all times? I used to spend a lot of time hiding in fear and self-doubt. Now I'm not afraid to put myself out there on a bigger scale, and most importantly, I know it's right for me in every moment, and I take action accordingly. On the other side, I now help others with this, and if you're ready to be powerful and confident and let go of the fear that holds you back from a bigger life, I'd love to gift you with my pattern identification session. Simply contact me on the contact page of my website, deborahacker.com. That's D-E-B-O-R-A-H-A-C-K-E-R.com. And let me know you heard about this gift through Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to connecting soon. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? (laughs) Really? Check us out. Go to transformationradio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving. Even in the face of adversity, say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Thank you. 
We're back on Truth Talk. I am your host, Deb Acker. My guest today is Caitlin Edgar, and we are talking about soul purpose, prosperity, and intuition. And before we continue, Caitlin, can you give everyone your contact info? Yeah, absolutely. So you can find me at www.caitlinedgar.com. So that's spelled K-A-T-E-L-Y-N-E-D-G-A-R. And same as for Facebook. You can find me on Facebook at Caitlin Edgar um, Intuitive Coach or even on my personal. I still have some space for new friends on my personal. Caitlin Edgar is just fine. Awesome. Oh, oh, yeah. And then also actually <laughs> so let people know about my Facebook group, which is called Intuitive Co-Creators. So there's a really, really beautiful group of women there on there. It's like they're they're just gorgeous. They're all heart centered and all really, really passionate about this path of living an intuitive life and being on purpose and in alignment. Awesome. Awesome. So before the break, we were talking about intuition and I wanted to get really, you know, obviously today we're going to talk about soul purpose and prosperity. And I really want to talk to you, you know, so I really think intuition really naturally lends itself to really opening to one's purpose and soul's purpose. Um, how, how do we begin to do this? How do you, um, for someone who's really searching for this, what are your, what are your recommendations? Yeah, I think you, well, for starters, what you just said right there is so bang on to, to really start to open up spiritually and intuitively is always number one, because then we start to realize like, oh, I am more than this, this human existence. There is something bigger going on here. I am being guided by something bigger than myself to fulfill this, this mission and this purpose on this planet at this time. So I think that is number one, like starting to really cultivate your own spiritual connection, whether that's through meditation or yoga or, or whatever, journaling, who knows, praying with your angels, um, whatever's, whatever's authentic for you. But so really starting to develop, to develop intuitively and, then to start to take a look at what is it that matters to you more than anything else. If there was something that you wanted to make sure that the world really understood, that they could really experience, that they could really know the truth about, what is that? And what is it that has been your greatest challenge and your greatest joy in your life? Because your purpose is going to be totally intermixed with everything that you've gone through, like every single life experience, every challenge, every trial, every error, every success, every joy, it's all showing you exactly what it is that you're here to do. And when I was really starting to, um, like when I was working at the restaurant, I was like, hey, something bigger wants to come through me. What is it? What I started to really look at is, so throughout my life, as I'm going like day to day, what lights me up? Like, what are those moments where I feel like so, so jazzed, so excited, like naturally high? And what I noticed for myself was it was always when I was like giving advice to someone or helping them to figure something out in their life. Um, And that's where I was like, oh, maybe I want to be like a life coach or something like that. So so that kind of started to unfold itself for me. So to start asking those questions of yourself, what matters to me? Why, like, what do I want people to know? What do I want people to experience? What do I want to see change in the world? What am I really, really passionate about helping people with? And your purpose is going to be tied in there and it's going to be mixed up with your passions and your, your strong desire to help people. So then once you have your purpose, it might not be like super clear right away because it's going to evolve as you evolve. And so, yeah, and you might just have like kind of like a a bit of a vision of what that's going to look like at first. It might not be really, really crystal clear and that's okay. And I think it's important to be okay with that and to really trust that as you take one step after the next in, in fulfilling that destiny that you've been given, you're going to know what it is. It's going to become more and more clear what the real, the real depths of what your purpose is for you. So yeah, does that, does that help? Does that answer your question? Yeah, no. And, um, 
I would add to that too, like, so it, it can be overwhelming. Say if you don't have that sense of it, one of the pl- where like places where I start, there's two places I would recommend in addition to what you just said. And one of them, it's like basically saying like, what feeling do I want to be in the world? Do I want to be love? Do I want to be joy? Cause that can be a really good, just op- like opening up to the feeling, the energy, the emotion that you want, how you really want to be and allowing, allowing that to at least sort of be that stepping stone to, cr- to really lean into okay I'm going to show up as love I'm going to show up as joy whatever that you know whatever that looks like whatever really speaks to you like for me the biggest thing that speaks to me is is around truth well there's a lot of things that speak to me love too but (laughs) um you know but truth is one of those really big things and so just really leaning into what what that what that looks like and then the other thing I would say too um and I don't know what your version of this I'm assuming being intuitive you definitely have a version of this and I'd love to hear about it um but just asking for guidance asking for help from the universe from your guides and angels whatever you know source whatever wh- whoever it is that you're you know that you feel drawn to just literally put it like saying the question whether you say it in in your head or saying it out loud just putting it out into the universe and then paying attention to what comes you know what comes comes towards you um what does that what does that look like for you yeah absolutely I totally agree with all of that and yeah and when, as you were saying that first piece to the um the work of Danielle Laporte she really I think that's really ties in well so that would be a good one for for some of the listeners too if they haven't already gone through her desire um map book that's a good one to start to get to know like what is it that you want to feel because you're right the feelings are so important because that's our vibration and how we vibrate is how we're going to affect all of, you know, the world. So, um, on an energetic level, that is, that's so, so bang on. And, and then, yeah, what you were saying about asking for guidance. Yes. Thank you for saying that. Cause I didn't say that. And that's so key. Like, please don't try to figure your life out without asking for help from, something that's greater than yourself from whatever it is that made you possible, whatever made this whole universe happen, ask for help for sure. And, and like you said, paying attention to those signs. And another thing that I wanted to say too, and add on top of that is, so when you do get a little piece of clarity, even if it seems small, like it's, mm, or vague, like, like I was saying, if it's like, um, I want to help people to connect with their intuition, for example, or I want to pe- help people connect with the divine. Once you have that piece of clarity, even if it's vague or broad, it doesn't matter. Be grateful that you have that and focus on it every single day. Every single action that you take should be in order to fulfill that one thing. And as you start taking action and have that be the focal point for every single thing that you do, you're going to get more and more clarity on how you can make a bigger and bigger impact, how you can be more fulfilled, how you can bring more joy in through fulfilling that purpose. So I like to like have, I have my purpose written in multiple places, but it's like up on my wall and I see it every single day and I check in and I make sure like before I do pretty much anything, is this helping me fulfill my purpose? And if the answer is yes, then it's something that I want to do. And if it's no, then I'm like, well, then that's actually not something that I should be putting my energy towards anyways. So I wanted to add that in too. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, yeah, all of those are, you know, are so important. And so, you know, as we're looking at purpose and we're really moving into purpose, it's like, what do you think is really truly possible for us when we really commit to really moving towards that and moving towards our greatest gifts? Oh my goodness. Like (laughs) everything that you've ever dreamed of and so much more than that. Like as we take these steps and we make that big commitment to fulfilling these, these huge missions that we've been given in this lifetime, as we take those steps and as we find the courage and as we serve people in those really profound ways, It is mind-blowing. Like, I almost don't have words for how freaking miraculous and magical and beautiful life becomes. Everything becomes a synchronicity. Everything is magical. It's all so divine. And, 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 and then, like, on a more physical level, like, if, if you desire prosperity, if you desire more money, if you desire more time and trips and freedom and all that, like, 
whatever it is physically that you need, it's always provided for you because you're giving in the physical level. And so you're receiving, you're giving your greatest gifts. So you're going to receive your greatest gifts back. It's all going to be this really beautiful circulation of, of energy flowing. So, I mean, <laughs> everything that you can imagine and more, that's what's possible for you as you serve your soul's purpose. And I have to ask you, cause I, you know, I know like, depending on where, you know, where everyone is on their growth path, that what you just described, which I, I like, I live too, and I, I get it. <laughs> it's, and it's really that beautiful. It's really that delicious and amazing and awesome. But, you know, what you described, what would you say to the people sort of bridging the gap from, you know, from that, from, I'll call, quote unquote, say mm-hmm. the old life or their, you know, the life of just quote unquote reality and moving uh-huh. into what you described? I would say keep going, keep trusting, and keep surrendering yourself to that which created you. Like really, really keep letting go. And ask for support. Don't try and do it on your own. Reach out to those people who you see embodying the energy that you know that you want to embody and living the life that you know that you want to live. Surround yourself with those people because they're going to be the ones who can help you to bring yourself into the reality that you want to be living. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We do so many times there's a common pattern of just doing it by ourselves, doing it alone Mm -hmm. and um, recognizing you can, you know, you can get support. You that support is out there and it's really it's out there to really help you to, you know, there's so many people that have walked you know, a similar path that can help and support you. So we are going to take another break here. You're listening to Truth Talk. I'm your host, Deb Acker. When we return, we are going to explore more with Caitlin. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Have you wanted to make more money without working harder or more? Maybe you've tried new ways to bring in extra income without success. Hi. Hi. My name is Deb Acker, and in addition to being the host of Truth Talk Radio, I'm an intuitive life coach and energy healer. I clear energy blocks to all areas of life, including abundance. Did you know many times we have an invisible income ceiling? So no matter what we do, our income never goes up, or if our income does go up, we experience an unexpected expense that negates this. How much would it be worth to significantly increase your income or even have unexpected income show up? When I was in the corporate world, I used these techniques to increase my income by tens of thousands of dollars without changing my work routine. In fact, I worked even less, and I now help clients do the same. If this resonates for you and you're truly ready for abundance in your life, I'd love to gift you with my pattern identification session. Simply contact me on the contact page of my website, deborahacker.com. That's D-E-B-O-R-A-H-A-C-K-E-R.com. And let me know you heard about this gift through Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to connecting soon. Brand consultant and coach Jen Morgan is here with Radically Distinct Radio to help maximize your brand's power to produce results. Whether you're a person with a dream and unsure where to start or a CEO of a successful company wondering what's next, Jen Morgan and the RAD Method empowers you to play to your strengths and focus your competitive edge so you can show up in the world as your most powerful brand. Go to JenMorgan.com or call 206-972-5366. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence, and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. 
Visit the fear and anxiety solution.com to learn more. We're back on Truth Talk. I am your host, Deb Acker. And for those just tuning in, I'm here talking with Caitlin Egger about soul purpose and prosperity. And I was talking with Caitlin, and we came up with, um, well, she's got this beautiful, delicious exercise. She wants to lead everyone through regarding really accessing that soul purpose. So we are actually going to head right into that exercise to really allow the listeners, allow everyone listening to really access that. Mm, I just noticed that it says 3.33 on my time, which is <laughs> such an auspicious time. I love it. Um, yes, so so I'm going to guide everyone to, to come into their heart space and get more clarity, no matter where you're at with your clarity on your purpose, to get more clarity on, on what it is that you're here to do in this lifetime right now. Um, and so I want to do a little explanation around why it's important to be in our in our hearts. So in regards to intuition, um, when we want to access intuitive information, sometimes people will get blocked because they're really in their heads and they're really thinking. And what happens is when we're like, all of our energy is mixed up in the head is that the brainwaves become incoherent and it creates like an energetic shield around the crown chakra, which is not what we want. We want the crown chakra to be open. And when we come into the heart space, the crown chakra can soften and open and those brain waves become coherent again. And that allows that divine inspiration to flow through your crown chakra and all the way down. So that's why coming into the heart space is so, 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 so key in, in living an intuitive life and really being guided in every single step that we take in our lives. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be, it's, it's not long, it's short, but it's really powerful. It's simple, but it will change your life. And it's something that even though I've been doing this for years, I still practice this every day. Like it's still a practice for me is coming into the heart center. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. So go ahead and close your eyes. Relax your shoulders and your face. Feel your body grounding down. Feel the support of the earth. Taking in some nice, deep, full breaths. And notice where your energy is in your body, where it's focused. There's a good chance that a lot of it is in your head. And so just notice And now I want you to consciously bring all of your energy into your heart center. Bring your awareness and your focus and gather your energy into the heart as you take a nice deep breath into that space. Really bringing all of your energy there and feel the resonance in your heart center. It's like coming home. It's like everything relaxes. And now I want you to bring your energy back up into your head again. So focusing your energy at your head. And notice how you feel. No judgment, simply noticing. Good. Okay, and now come back down into the heart center again. Feel the shift. And you can bring one or two of your hands to your heart center now, placing them on your heart, taking another nice deep breath in there, really feeling the beauty of your own heart. And while keeping your energy in your heart center, I want you to ask the question, what is my soul's purpose? And gently listen for whatever answer comes to you. It might be a feeling or a word or a sentence. But ask the question, what is my soul's purpose? What is my soul's purpose? Really trusting whatever this experience is for you, whether it's 
a very clear word that's coming through or an energy that you're feeling, trust that whatever this is for you in this moment is perfect and is guiding you into the fulfillment of your purpose and the manifestation of your dreams. Take a moment to really thank your heart, thank your soul, and another nice deep breath in. And gently open your eyes. Voila! <laughs> um, I'll tell you what I saw when uh, when I did the exercise. Um, hmm. So what I what I saw, and it was more of a sense. So I've like I always say, intuition can come in in several different ways, and it's you know it's seeing, hearing, feeling, and knowing are, are kind of the form of ones, and then there's there's other ones too. But those are the main ones, especially when you're opening to this I would say but um what I was feeling was like or, like what the sense I got was I saw this light sort of this like bright sunny like the light you'd see from a sunshine and I saw it opening bigger mm. so my sense of that or what that felt like to me was expansion so that's cool that's cool yeah. um, cool experience especially when we think about the intention that you said at the beginning of the call that word really I really heard that word when you set the intention at the beginning of the call today yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's, it's interesting how it's like, how, the word that I just heard was embedded. <laughs> like, it's like, mm-hmm. all this stuff is just so part of me. It's like, oh, cool. I'm like, yeah. and, and if you had said to me, if I was in my mind, and I said, okay, what's my purpose in my mind, I made it might have heard something completely different. So I think this exercise is such an important piece, like just piece of like, okay, like if I go to my mind and I try to logically figure this out, <laughs> it may not work, you know, and they don't call it sole purpose, like, because you don't know what it is. Like it's within yeah. you. It's, it, 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 it's totally, it's deeply embedded in you. I, um, and it's just a matter of open, like opening to that. Yeah, it's essentially it's who you are, and yep. it, it's it's let it, it's it's serving to the world who you are. Yeah, it's so funny. I just saw like a picture of like a kind of a platter <laughs> when you oh, said serving. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, <laughs> we're gonna serve ourselves up here. Yeah, yeah no, that's. Um, beautiful, beautiful exercise. Well, and I want to talk to you because I know another piece of this is, is our prosperity. So wh- how do you define prosperity? What is, what, what is prosperity really? Well, first I want to say thanks for even asking because this subject absolutely delights me. It's been such, <laughs> it's been such a journey for me coming into prosperity consciousness and seeing that reflected back to me because I lived from a really lackful and um, a a real scarcity mindset um, place in my past. And so to live where I live now with such abundance is, um, it's huge. And I'm really passionate about helping, helping other people to access that within themselves. So to me, prosperity is, it's not, well, first off, let's talk about what it's not. It's not just money. It's not just having fancy things, although it can definitely include those things. But prosperity is the experience of living so deeply in the truth, having the consciousness, deeply being aware of the truth that everything that you need and desire is going to manifest into your life from the divine light that lies within you. And that light is unlimited. And so the experiences, the resources, the money, the people everything that you desire is also unlimited. And so as we let go of the scarcity mindset, as we let go of those limiting beliefs, we open ourselves up to this, this truth, which is that it's all, all right there because it's all inside of you. And as you, as you keep anchoring more and more deeply into that truth, into the infinity that you are and that lies within you, It's going to continue to pour forth from you and manifest in your physical reality. And everything that you need and desire is going to be there for you. And it's like, it's like, what? It's so good. It's so, so, so incredible. Uh That's that's what prosperity is for me. Well, and what's one thing, you know, um, when you're talking about prosperity consciousness, what's one thing that people can do right away to begin to experience prosperity? Yeah, so... 
I love this exercise. It's easy, it's quick, it's fun, and it's simple. So every evening before you go to sleep, get out your favorite journal and your favorite pen and go through your day in your mind and write down all of the ways that you were supported and provided for throughout the day. So whether that's someone paid for your tea or you got a check in the mail or you found like a feather, which is a significant sign for you, maybe in regards to your angels, any way that you were shown support, maybe a friend calls you, write everything down. So not just money, but like every single way that you are aware of that the divine showed up to support you in that day. And what's going to start to happen is as you train your mind to be super like hyper focused on all the ways that you're being provided for, you're of course opening yourself up to more and more and more of that. And you're letting go of that pattern of if that pattern's present in you at all, but that pattern of not having enough, where's my, where's my stuff, where's my support, where's my money, where's my things, and into that place of like, here it is, it's right in my face, I see it, I receive it, more and more and more and more and more. Yeah, no, that's really, really cool, because I know a lot of people talk about gratitude, and it's, it's a version of gratitude, but it goes like a, almost a layer deeper to really mm-hmm. get totally at that, you know, at that at that abundance consciousness, at the prosperity consciousness, at the really the, the sort of the root or the heart of, yeah, the heart of it. So that's really, really um, uh, beautiful. And for you, what's, what's it like to live in prosperity consciousness? It is, mm-hmm. it's, it's so amazing. I almost could tear up because it's so amazing. It's, it's such a gift to live with such trust and such knowing that I'm always going to be provided for, to be able to be in such a peaceful state within myself because I know that everything that I need is going to be placed on my path for me, that I'm always going to have the support. I'm always going to have the money. If there's something that I desire, it's going to be there for me. There's no time spent worrying about it and questioning and doubting and all of that that I used to go through. So yeah, it's, it's really, it's really, really beautiful. It's a gift that I'm, I'm offering thanks for every single day. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I think it's important too. It's like, there's that piece around trusting. And many times when we're in our scarcity programming, it's, it's like not trusting, right? It's like, you know, or you end up, you know, for instance, say, you know, somebody's presenting you with an opportunity and it's an opportunity that doesn't feel fully aligned and yet you're, you feel like you should do it because it might make you some money. Um, That piece can really, you know, even though in in the moment it's like, well, this is going to bring in, you know, hundreds, a hundred, hundreds, thousands, whatever dollars. If you're not fully aligned with it, there is that, that underlying piece where it's like, you're not in that full trust. You're not in that full, um, real in full abundance. Cause in a space of full abundance, you might choose to, say no to this so that something more aligned, more joyful, more inspired can open and come in. Um, Yeah, absolutely. I can really feel that someone on this call really needed to hear that too. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, no, it's like I, cause I mean, it's, I'll tell all of the listeners, it is the most powerful thing when you can really start to say, does this bring me joy and move from that? You know, it's, I get that not every area of our life is set up that way. Not every area of our life is, is always like that. And yet, if you can start to focus on the things that feel inspired, that feel joyful, that feel like, oh, I can't wait to do this. Those are the things, like, as you say yes to those, you're telling the universe that you want more of that, that you, that's what you want to bring in. And mm-hmm. so just really, really being focused on every time I say no, say, say yes to something that isn't that aligned, that is, doesn't feel that good. I'm saying to the universe, it's okay, bring me more of this. Um, and I'm saying to the universe, like there's under not underneath that is that level of like not fully trusting that you are as supported as you, you know, as you just talked about. So, um, that's so, so beautiful. So in our final segment today, I want to do a vibration activation on some of the things that we talked about in our call. 
And so for those of you guys who are new to vibration activation, I'm going to have you close your eyes and I will walk you through this step by step, but I'm going to have you close your eyes and then I'm going to have you bring light all the way through your body. And I do this because the light is the truth of who we are. It's the truth of who we came here to be. And because of this, it is the quickest way for us to change. It is the quickest way for us to transform. And then from there, I'm going to have you expand out, um, that light from the center of your heart out five feet, 10 feet, all the way out to the entire universe. And again, I do that because the light is, um, that expansion is our connection to us being in infinite possibilities, to us being the expansive um, beings that we came here to be, to us, for us to really own and step into how powerful we truly are if we're, if we're, if we're embodying that. And then from there, I might say something like, you know, everywhere you're in your mind and you want to just see sort of that energy, that emotion where you, where you felt like everywhere it was safe to be, it was good, safe and right to be logical or that, that that's there to protect you. You want to exhale that out of your body. And then you might breathe in something like openness. You might breathe in something like heart, like expansiveness. I'll give you some positive alternatives. If those don't apply, I definitely encourage whatever's coming through to really breathe, um, breathe that in. And so with that, I'm just going to have you close your eyes. And just planting your feet nice and flat on the floor. And just taking a nice deep breath, just breathing in through your nose and just filling your belly, the sides of the body, the chest and the legs with air. And just exhaling out nice and slow. And again, just breathing in through your nose and just filling your belly, the sides of the body, the chest and the legs with air. And just exhaling out nice and slow. And just connecting to the light, the light that's 300 feet above your head. And we naturally do this when we pray. So just see, sense, or feel that light, whatever comes up for you naturally. And just now seeing this liquid light coming down in through your forehead, down past your eyes. So you can really see the truth, the truth of who you are, the truth of who you came here to be. And bringing that liquid light down past your nose and past your ears so you can hear the truth of who you are and the truth of who you came here to be. And bringing that liquid light down into your mouth, into your throat, so you can really speak your truth and speak out who you truly came here to be. And bringing that liquid light down across your shoulders, down into your heart, so you can really feel your truth and feel the truth of who you are and who you came here to be. And bringing that liquid light down into your stomach, into your hips, so you can stand, ground in, and create the truth of who you are and the truth of who you truly came here to be. And moving that liquid light down your legs and out through your feet so you can really move towards your truth and the truth of who you are and the truth of who you came here to be. And just connecting to the center of the earth, the center of the earth that feels like mother's love. It's all ooey and gooey and warm and nurturing. And just allowing this liquid light that's at the center of the earth to come back up through your feet, up through your legs up through your torso and up through your face. And again, just like liquid light shower, just coming down to every crevice of your face, down your neck, across your shoulders, down your torso, down your hips, down your legs and out through your feet and back up through your feet, up through your legs, up through your torso and up through your face. And one more time, just a liquid light shower, just coming down every area of your face, down your neck, across your shoulders, down your torso, down your hips, down your legs and out through your feet and back up through your feet, up through your legs, up through your torso and up through your face. And just expanding that light from above and below from the center of your heart to see that light expanding into the room that you're in and just allowing your body to open, expand and breathe and expanding that light out into the entire building that you're in. Again, shoulders are back, chest is nice and wide and just open, expanding and breathing and open, expanding and breathing and out past the entire city that you're in, wherever you are located, just open, expanding and breathing and open, expanding and breathing and out past the entire state or country that you're in, wherever you are located, just see that covering the entire state, the entire country. Again, just open, expanding, and breathing, and open, expanding, and breathing, and out past the entire continent, just super, super, super big, just open, expanding, and breathing, and open, expanding, and breathing, and out past the entire world. Again, just super, super big, just see that light covering the entire world. Beautiful. Just open, expanding, and breathing, and open, expanding, and breathing, and out past the entire universe, past all the planets, 
just super, super, super big, super expansive, just open, expanding, and breathing, and open, expanding, and breathing. And just everywhere um, you are feeling close to your soul's purpose, everywhere you think you don't have a purpose, everywhere you're struggling finding that purpose, everywhere you're, you're just feeling you're just struggling with that. Just exhaling that out of your body and just breathing in the truth, breathing and opening, breathing in just the energy of who you are. So breathing and breathing in that expansiveness. So breathing in truth, breathing and opening, breathing in the energy of who you are and breathing in that expansiveness. And one more time, just breathing in truth, breathing and opening, breathing in the truth of who you are and breathing in that expansiveness. And just everywhere that you um, are in your your mind, everywhere you're using logic to protect yourself, everywhere you're using logic to keep yourself safe, just exhaling that out of your body. And again, just breathing in that openness, breathing in truth, breathing in heart, breathing in expansiveness, and breathing in openness, breathing in truth, breathing in heart, breathing in expansiveness, and breathing in openness, breathing in truth, breathing in heart, breathing in expansiveness, um, breathing in truth, breathing in heart, breathing in openness, breathing in expansiveness, and everywhere you're focused on scarcity, everywhere you're, you're focused on lack, just exhaling that out of your body and just breathing in abundance and breathing in light and breathing in truth and prosperity, and breathing in um, abundance, breathing in light, breathing in truth, and breathing in prosperity, and breathing in abundance, breathing in light, breathing in truth, breathing in prosperity, and everywhere in some way you're not feeling fully supported, right? Everywhere in some way you're not feeling fully supported in your life, just exhaling that out, and just breathing in love, and breathing in light, and 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 everywhere you're not fully trusting, right? So everywhere you're waiting for it to be in physical form before you believe it, and everywhere you're not believing it to see it, just exhaling that out of your body, and just breathing in that openness, and breathing in that truth, and breathing in that expansion, and breathing in that openness, breathing in that truth, breathing in that expansion, And breathing in that openness, breathing in truth, breathing in expansion. And everywhere in some way you're moving from obligation and you're not following that joy. You're not following that inspiration. Just exhaling that out of your body and breathing in joy, breathing in inspiration, breathing in light and breathing in joy, breathing in inspiration, breathing in light and breathing in joy, breathing in inspiration, breathing in light and breathing in joy, and breathing in inspiration, and breathing in light. And just taking a nice, deep inhale and exhale, and just feeling all this light and love, abundance, and expansion coming into your body. So just feeling that feeling of just being an open, expansive, light, love-filled, abundant being. And really allowing yourself to connect to that light, that love filled, that abundance, that expan- expansion, expansive human being that you are. And just really taking that in and breathing all of that in. And placing your feet nice and flat on the floor, taking one more nice deep breath. And just feeling your body in the chair. And coming back into the room. Just noticing how you're feeling in this moment and noticing if there's any messages that want to come through in this moment. And with that, I want to thank my guest today, Caitlin Edgar, for sharing such great information. And I want to thank you all for tuning into Truth Talk. I always love hearing from my audience. If you have a comment on the show or would like to introduce yourself, you can send me a note on the contact page of my website at deborahacker.com. And there you can also sign up for my complimentary pattern identifying discovery session, as well as my free living in your truth guide. Also, as a reminder, um, Truth Talk starting in October, will be moving to the first and third Wednesdays of each month the same time, same bat channel. Um, So make sure you tune in accordingly. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great week and I'll look forward to talking with you next time. 
Thank you for listening to Truth Talk Radio with your host, Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio every Wednesday at 3 Pacific Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com and experience the truth of who you are and who you came here to be. Each week, Deb interviews an inspiring guest and illuminates the truth to a wide range of topics, including love, life, purpose, career, consciousness, and abundance. Welcome to the world of infinite possibilities. For more information about Deb, including how to contact or work with her, visit truthtalkradioshow.com. Look forward to seeing you next week for more Truth Talk Radio.